and Hathaway is speaking out. On Thursday, the 39-year-old actress marked the 16th anniversary of The Devil Wears Prada with a post on Instagram and discussed how the country has changed since the iconic fashion film came out in 2006. Hathaway specifically shouted out the Supreme Court's recent overturning of Roe v. Wade amid an uncertain future. Posting a throwback carousel of scenes from the movie, Hathaway celebrated costume designer Patricia Field for dressing the cast in the most incredible, iconic and joyful costumes which somehow keep serving 16 years later. That's magic. Looking back on photos of this beloved film that shaped the lives and careers of so many, mine included, I am struck by the fact that the young female characters in this movie built their lives and careers in a country that honored their right to have choice over their own reproductive health, she wrote. See you in the fight 20. The we crashed actress' latest message isn't the first time she has advocated for the right to abortion. In May 2019, soon after Alabama Governor Kay Ivey signed a bill into law banning almost all abortions in the state, the ban was blocked by a federal judge, Hathaway again defended a woman's right to choose. Yes the anti-abortion movement is primarily about controlling women's bodies under the premise, for many, sincere, of saving lives, and yes this law is primarily the work of white men however a white woman sponsored the bill and a white woman signed it into law, she captioned her Instagram post, featuring opened with a protest photo from the time. As we're resisting, let us also call out the complicity of the white women who made this awful moment possible, and which, make no mistake, will lead to the unnecessary and avoidable deaths of women, a disproportionate number of whom will be poor and or black, she wrote. Speak up. Show up. Don't give up. Last Friday, the Supreme Court overturned the landmark Roe v. Wade, ruling that there is no longer a federally protected right to an abortion in the United States. The 6-3 ruling reversed nearly 50 years of precedent, giving states the power to pass their own laws around abortion. Since the decision, Arkansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Missouri and South Dakota have already banned abortion in their states, after putting trigger bans in place that governors enacted after the SCOTUS ruling. We hold that Roe and Casey must be overruled, Justice Samuel Alita wrote in the majority opinion. The Constitution makes no reference to abortion, and no such right is implicitly protected by any constitutional provision. Protests have since erupted around the country, and President Joe Biden has spoken out against the ruling, which he called the realization of an extreme ideology and a tragic error by the Supreme Court, 